Of course, neighbors being very rattled when they woke up to find out that things had evolved and they were in a partial lockdown. They were told to stay inside, uh, worried that things could have escalated even further this morning. Miguel Octavio is covering that aspect of this story because you have been out speaking to the community and neighbors there, Miguel. Betsy, I spoke to some neighbors who say they've lived here their whole life and they've never seen anything like this before. I mean, getting a text message about a possible incident really rattled them this morning. They say this shooting doesn't compare to past shootings that Albert Lee has seen in the past. One woman told me she woke up around 3 a.m. to gunshots and yelling that went on for hours, but she says she was more worried about families living inside that apartment than herself. There's a lot of kids and stuff, you know, families in that building, you know, and it's just, it's not, that's not right, you know. You know, it's kind of surprising to see how many people were there, uh, law enforcement rise, wise, and uh, hopefully it's not, you know, not too serious. Now, earlier, I also saw a school bus, which appeared to be bringing people back to the apartment. They had American Red Cross blankets around them. They were in their pajamas. Obviously, this is something they weren't expecting. One person who lives nearby in that apartment says he hopes this incident doesn't paint a bad image of the community. Elberly is a good place to live. I mean, everybody takes care of everybody, and, you know, everybody cares about the whole community around here, you know. If, if somebody sees something going on, they, they let everybody know that, you know, hey, there's something going on in this town. Of course, neighbors are still rattled by this, but they are relieved to know that one person is in custody in this incident. They just hope everyone who's hurt from this incident, including that police officer, is doing okay.